Hello everybody, Scott Golden here with the Golden Opportunities Coaching and Pro Wrestling Logic YouTube channels. Uh, the the channels are uh, growing well thanks to you. Subscribe, like, and all that good stuff. Uh, we enter the month of December here, December 7th, 1985 in World Class. Uh, Grappler and Missing Link versus uh, Dave Peterson and Johnny Mantell. Interesting dynamic of a new team. And this seems to happen a bit in world class where teams kind of bubble up out of nowhere, for lack of a better term. Obviously, the missing link and uh, and the grappler <coughs> on this occasion are uh, managed by Percy Pringle. Pringle actually takes quite a role in this episode. Pringle is very animated at ringside, almost to the point of being out of control and hyperactive. He cannot manage uh, to control the missing link. So imagine the grappler, who is exactly that, a grappler, traditionalized wrestler, against the benefit of uh, the, the um, wonder that is... Uh, the the missing link as as opponent someday that hasn't happened yet but anyhow international uh, that goes where uh, Mantel spills to the outside uh, a little bit of a different spot a little bit of comedy there uh, Mantel and and uh, Peterson are outwitting the heels in the beginning of the contest. That is not necessarily what they want to deal with, obviously. And a tag off to David Peterson uh, leads to Peterson and the grappler squaring off. This is not impressive to the grappler. Grappler really not impressed by much. Uh, meanwhile, he rolls through, gets a near fall on Madrill using his leverage and power when necessary. Uh, certainly gets... Things going in a, I don't know if I'd say a positive direction for the team, but uh, slower match. Grappler tries to slow it down. Grappler, of course, known for his time in the Pacific Northwest and Southern Territories. So he's a bit of a different uh, style wrestler than we normally see here. Of course, being in a mask, kind of he blends in a little bit with the mask of the dynamic duo to the haircuts, but... Um, and they're not with them always, as actually I think by the end of uh, December they're done with them. Anyway, uh, Grappler holds control early, and uh, early and often, tag back to Peterson. Peterson chases the Grappler to the outside. Uh, Grappler's uh, strategy is not working the way he intends. Missing Link comes back in and tries to settle things up for his team. And then takes uh, things back over to the grappler. So you kind of see uh, the missing link maybe not being the most uh, coherent fellow. And Link uh, sends uh, Peterson into the buckle. Meanwhile, and Peterson rolls to the outside off the offensive maneuver. And the missing link uses his head as a battering ram. We kind of... See the return of Johnny uh, Mantell coming back into the ring and kind of being being where it is, what it is, and uh, shots into the buckle for the missing link. Uh, shots there, and again, kind of seeing seeing what it is for what it is. Uh, we kind of see uh, Mantell hook the sleeper hold on the grappler um and there is a i guess i'd almost say a, a knockout there of uh mantel eventually this is uh the attempted pull up uh by mantel on the grappler actually pulls him up by the mask grappler into the corner and uh, blocks the 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 sunset the sunset flip close line one two and three the grappler gets the victory for his team 
Hasn't started the cheating ways yet. Those will no doubt come later for the grafter. But uh, Lance Von Eric against Killer Tim Brooks. Brooks uh, was originally brought back by Gary Hart. Hart seems to have disappeared from the territory. Uh, that is interesting to say the very least. Uh, Von, Von Eric against Brooks is an interesting uh, style clash, I guess you'd say. Brooks takes Von Eric down and goes to work on him. Relatively uh, simple with the brawling techniques. Obviously, Brooks is your heel, willing to cheat at every given opportunity. And uh, um, there is an attempted sleeper by Von Eric, and the referee checks the arm. It drops three times, and in fact, in uh, just over about six, seven minutes, uh, Lance Von Eric puts the killer Tim Brooks, the former six-man tag team champion, to sleep, surprisingly. Um, now we move to the Americans' heavyweight championship as Ravishing Rick Rude, managed by Percy Pringle, goes to town with Iceman King Parsons. And they're given uh, about, I don't know, 15 minutes here, something like that, 12, 15 minutes. And Parsons has a very new shiny blue sequined jacket that he is proud of as the champion. Kind of cool when a champion manages to uh, use his wealth, in theory anyway, to upgrade gear and things like that. Just uh, always was a small touch that I think fans appreciate or may notice anyway rude goes for the shot early and manages to go for a punch uh, pringle on the outside consoling his man as uh, rude uh you know gets back in and goes to work knees and punches forearms and the like in the corner but rude runs shoulder first into the corner iceman king parsons manages to hold rude at bay and uh, Rude sends him off the ropes, and uh, they do the good old crisscross, and uh, Iceman Parsons stops. Rude runs an extra, I don't know, few times, and it's not good. Rude bails to the outside again. Rude seems to be doing a good bit of stalling the first two or three minutes of the contest. Percy Pringle seems okay with this. He still has his cane at ringside. Uh... Back when managers had weapons, tennis rackets, canes, and the like to uh, kind of even things up as they felt they were victims. Uh, Percy is not happy with the fans chanting for the Iceman on the outside as one would assume he wants Rude to successfully navigate winning the championship. Rude with a series of forearms that are pretty consistent and, uh, you know, Certainly, Rick Rude proving why <clears throat> why he is one of the best in the world at the time. Just knowing the pacing, knowing when to give enough for Iceman to come back, but still looking strong. Forcing Iceman to carry his weight for a few minutes. Iceman always comes back in a timely fashion. He, he's more of the brawler, even though Rude... Might be more powerful with the way he's looking. Uh, forearms to the kidneys by Rude. Among other aggressive attacks, Rude not intimidated by his adversary. Not the least bit worried about what's to come there. And uh, obviously we see kind of a, a bit of a battle. A bit of a, 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 a you know back and forth there. Rude is... In control when it matters. Uh, Iceman able to get out the back door surprisingly. Rude with the reverse chin lock. A little bit slower match than we're used to seeing Rude in. But at the same time, Iceman knows the art of selling well enough that he uh, manages his way back to his feet. Abdominal stretch kind of entered in a weird way by Rude. Rude tries to use the ropes and they get about three minutes out of the abdominal stretch. Um, into a bear hug by Rude. Rude certainly is going submission to submission, trying to do anything he can to uh, get the Iceman to submit, give up, give that championship up. 
and uh, Iceman fires up, fires back, and with about uh, five minutes left in the program, it looks like Rude, who goes flying on a backdrop, is about to end his championship bid and not in a good way. Rude is constantly looking for a way to back up at this point in the match. Parsons manages to uh, hit a headbutt, among other things. We then see the Iceman get cut off, and Rude... Goes for an inside cradle. One, two, and three. Rick Rude with the inside cradle manages to get the victory. The Iceman goes after Percy Pringle for Pringle running his mouth. Strikes uh, Pringle and Rude takes him out to the floor. Uh, this is where the damage really occurs or occurs at a higher level than most people are comfortable with as that DDT on the floor of the Iceman laid out and for the next several minutes to close the program uh, there is an interview but there's also Iceman King Parson be Parsons being carried out I would assume that the feud between Parsons and Rude continues for quite a while and I would also assume that it's going to get worse before it gets better if you're Rick Rude but until next time keep your feet on the ground your mind in a moment until next time everybody